Hey guys, welcome back to Crab Central Station. I am so excited to share with you everything that my family and I experienced at CrabCon 2019. The very first CrabCon ever. The very first CrabCon ever. I want to shake up the industry. All right, so you might be wondering, what is CrabCon? And that's a good question. So this idea of CrabCon came about when Mary Akers was so successful at breeding hermit crabs. She had over 200 of them and needed homes for them. Nobody can keep 200 hermit crabs in their house. And so she needed a place where we could all gather, people from all over the United States and beyond actually, could come together to adopt these babies. And that's where Mary Akers, alongside of Crab Street Journal and some of the moderators from the Facebook page that you guys have seen us link to called Land Hermit Crab Owner Societies or Lycos, um, they all got together to think of a great idea to bring people from all over the world together to adopt their hermit crabs. You know what? Let's let Mary tell you about it. So my crabs were making eggs. What was I going to do? Flush them down the toilet? Throw them down the sink? I mean, I didn't, that's, that was my other option and that, I didn't like that option. What I wanted to do was get more than 24 because 24 was the number to beat, right? The woman in Germany had had 24 and that was this huge success. It was like, oh my God, you saved 20, you know, you've got 24 babies to land. So that was my goal and I got 203. Six, depending on how you count. <laughs> the most fun part of this whole process was watching the babies watch me. So you might be asking why go through all this trouble of breeding hermit crabs in captivity? Why all the money and the time and the study? Well, you know, we've touched on some of our other videos, um, but we're going to go ahead and mention it because it's so important with the breeding program that Mary started. Um, and that is that all of the hermit crabs that you find in pet stores and beach shops come from the wild. They're harvested from the wild and they are horrifically uh, mistreated. So they go without the water they need, the humidity, the temperature regulation, they go without food, um, and they are stashed in these horrible conditions until stores purchase them. And then they are stuffed into a burlap sack and mailed off to the stores where they are oftentimes continued um, to be poorly cared for. And millions of hermit crabs die um, every shipment, every harvest. And the only way to stop that is to change the industry, to shut it down. Um, and so that's what the captive bred breeding program is all about. It's a brutal industry, so I wanna shake up the industry, honestly. The best part of CrowdCon 2019 was picking out the babies. So Mary is so awesome. She invited all the adopters over to her house and she gave us a tour of her crab room where all the magic happens. And then we got to go and see all 200 plus babies crawling around in the little tank. Uh, we got to hold them and watch their little personalities um, so that we could pick out the little babies that we wanted to bring home with us. All right, so after you picked out the babies that you wanted to adopt, the next step was to set up their travel totes which uh, Mary already had mostly ready for us. She had the containers and the substrate. And then um, we went and picked out cute little feeding dishes for them. They're so tiny. And Mary handmade water dishes um, in the shape of a shell. Um, so they had two of those, one for salt water and one for fresh water. Um, we got to pick out little bitty shells for them. So another really cool thing that we got to do at CrowdCon 2019 was meet all kinds of vendors who made or brought crab safe items for your crab attack, um, food that they can eat, shells, safe wood, pottery, all of the things you can possibly ever imagine were right there at CrowdCon.
another really cool thing about CrabCon was getting to hear all kinds of different speakers, and um, especially Mary Akers. She told us all about her breeding attempt, the successes and um, the failures, and all of the different things that she learned through the whole process. Um, because again, our hope is to overturn the industry so that we can all um, become breeders um, as well. And so it was really neat to see the whole process, um, as well as hear from a bunch of other people um, and the best ways to care for our hermit crabs. So the links to those presentations, maybe you can find them down below. So we adopted eight wow. kept bread babies, four purple pinchers, and four Ecuadorians. And after we put them in their tote, finished CrabCon 2019, we jumped in the car and drove all the way back south to Texas and brought our new adopted babies to their home in this tank right behind me. And we showed you guys how we built this tank. We did a custom foam background for the topper because Mary told us that the babies love to climb. And so we wanted to give them a lot of fun things to interact on. And so if you want to watch that tutorial, it is in the link below and you can um, see how you to build your own custom background. CrabCon 2019 was amazing. I know that my family and I will cherish the memories that we made on that trip. I also know that we will enjoy the many years to come as we raise these very first captive bred babies. And none of this would have been possible without Mary Akers and her bravery to take on such a big task and have such success. Um, we also are very thankful for all of the time, effort, research, volunteer hours that um, Lycos and the Crab Street Journal put into changing the hermit crab industry and how we care for our hermit crabs. I have some exciting news for you. CrabCon 2020 is already in the works. So check out the link below where you can book your hotel and start planning for your trip to CrabCon 2020, as well as a link to apply um, to become an adopter of this year's Captive Bread Babies. Thanks for watching you guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow us on our social media accounts, and we'll see you next time.